Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Peta of Sin City Let's Plays. Okay, now let's pause the game and place the services. The two fire departments go on the edges. The clinics go over here and here. The police station will depend on how do I place the university. There's the university. Now I need to get some of these footpaths around. The police station now does not have enough space to be placed right here, but it can go over here. I just need to finish placing these footpaths. I'm just thinking that I could leave this room here for some high volt sims, although the problem may be that you cannot place any university buildings this far off from the university itself. Now I'm going to see am I correct in this assumption? Well, these things seem to be able to be placed very far, but I'm not exactly sure about this because when I was testing I tried to place one of these business schools, school of law or whatever it's called, up here and it said too far from the main university. So I am going to leave it without zoning here. Actually I can zone here and just plop these things on top of the zones if I see that I need that space filled with the university upgrades instead of zones. Now the reason why I'm connecting the university footpaths with this avenue and with these other roads is because I'm hoping that the sims will want to walk as I saw in my sandbox design through these university footpaths and even then through these streets instead of using cars to get to the university. It won't be a large percentage but even a small percentage would be pretty good. Actually this is the spot for the town hall. So this connection here should be like this. And that should be pretty much it. We have power, water and sewage from the other city, garbage pickup from the other city, fire departments are set. Oh right, I have to upgrade them with fire bells. Fire alarms, sorry. The police and health services. Oh right, I should probably add an additional patient room and some of these ambulance space right now. And as for the police station, an additional car. Now I did use a shuttle bus depot in my original design which I placed up here, but since I want these cities to be able to communicate between each other with the workers and shoppers using buses, I'm going to use this municipal bus terminal and place the, the bus stops all around the city, but a little bit later. The only thing that is remaining to do is to get the land value right. Now I do have the mansion unlocked at the start of course, so I have to get the high land value and the medium land value using the parks. Now let's see where exactly will they not interfere with buildings going to medium density. One, two, three, four. And then a park right here. Yep, this will work. There we go, one park here and an additional park here. Let's see a big park right here. Nice. Probably upgrade it to the back of it. There we go. Now I just have to place the small parks. 
on these edges and they should intersect with this highland value. There we go, this is working out quite nicely. The inside circle is highland value, the middle one is medium land value and the outer ones are low land value. Now I see that some of these are not going to be far enough for these buildings to be medium land value over here, here, up here, these are just so I may need to add just a little bit of medium vault land value. Okay, I believe this will do quite nicely. Now let's get to the zoning. I'm going to have industrial because of the way the wind blows on to this spot here, a little bit over here, most of it up here and a little bit in here. The rest is going to be the combination of residential and commercial. And that would be all the zones done. Now I don't have any commercial zoned on the high vault land value because I'm pretty sure that all these high vault parks are going to make sure that the sims that are high vault sims are going to have enough happiness that they are not going to bother with the high vault goods. Oh, well, this is it guys. We are now officially rolling with the second city. Let's let the sims start moving in and watch the magic happen. Power is here. Water is coming in. And the sims are moving in. Now as I have enough sims in this city, I can build the town hall, which I'm going to place right here with the ability to upgrade it on both sides. Now the first morning has dawned on my city and I am already in the green with my hourly income. With only 1,800 1, people in my city and at taxes at 10 I am already 2k positive. Which means that this city has no problem supporting itself with this infrastructure at the moment. I'm just waiting for enough sims to start coming into the city so that the university can have enough workers and I can start my first research. Now that this city is up and running, I think this is pretty much the end of this episode of Let's Plays, we shall continue on in the next episode. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.